Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. Union Minister for Textiles Smriti Irani recently visited Shillong and laid the foundation stone for the integrated textiles tourism complex in Nongpo in Reboi district in the presence of Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma. Irani said that it has been the direction of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to develop skill of people, especially for a state like Meghalaya. The meeting of Poshan Abhiyan was held at Shillong Secretariat. Irani also announced that under the Samarth scheme, which Earthswell plans to scale 7,200 youths in apparel and garments, textiles and handroom sectors has now been extended. Huge quantity of WY World Is Yours tablets were seized recently by a team of anti-smuggling units of Customs Division Imphal. The units were seized from a person identified as Hefa Judin, 23-year-old son of Rijayuddin, a resident of Thaubal district. Drug battle was caught at Lilong Myron Kun Makalikai in Thaubal district along Imphal Mori Road, National Highway 102. The 38-kilometer newly constructed single broad gauge rail line between Bologna and Sabroom, last leg of 110-kilometer Agartala Sabroom railway line, completed its trial recently. Railway officials told that with the completion of the trial on this part, the entire section of the rail line connecting Agartala to southernmost town of Sabroom from where Chittagong seaport of Bangladesh is just 72 kilometer away is commissioned. The new rail link will play a pivotal role in changing the socio-economic status of Tripura, further making the state a gateway to Southeast Asia. Three archers of Assam Rifles who won five gold, three silver and one bronze at the recently concluded the World Police and Fire Games held in China's Chengdu were given a warm welcome upon their arrival in Imphal Airport in Manipur. Rifleman Guru Mayum Robert Sherman, 27, from Manipur backed three medals while Rifleman Z Dimo from Nagaland clinched one gold, one silver and one bronze medal in the wooden bow events. The lone rifle women Lydia Shimpru, 29 from Manipur, bagged one gold and two silver medals in the women's category in the wooden bow events. All three archers are being trained by nine sector Assam rifles in Manipur. Tripura Natural Gas Corporation Limited, a subsidiary of Gale, recently organized a safety awareness program on compressed natural gas. Chief uh, Manager Arindam Chakrapati said the program added the addiction to it on realizing that one of the prime causes behind many accidents was addiction. He added that just awareness cannot stop from accidents, rather the cause has to be identified. Several other line departments, including the disaster and firefighting, also took part in the program. The Northeast region paid tribute to late former Union Finance Minister and senior Bharatiya Janata Party leader Arun Jetli, who passed away at Ames in New Delhi on August 24. In Tripura, several top leaders, including Education and Law Minister Ratan Lal Nath, Social Welfare and Social Education Minister Santana Chakma, and Tripura West Constituency MP Pratima Bhomik, paid their condolences at the BJP headquarters. Other political leaders of the region also paid tributes to Arun Jetli. He was 66. 